Hey there everyone, I am Harshit Kumar and welcome to Curious Harshit. Today we are kicking off our series, Getting Started as an Electronics Hobbyist, where we will explore electronics from scratch. Stay tuned to learn more. Starting with a basic question, electronics is for whom? Let's break some stereotypes. Electronics isn't just for people with fancy engineering degrees. There is no minimum age or formal qualifications required to get started. Passion and curiosity is all you need. Take me for example. Back in 2015, I was just 13 years old when I made my first Class AB audio amplifier. Did I fully understand what a Class AB amplifier was? No. But I was fascinated by audio amplifiers. I have disassembled numerous radios and music players out of curiosity. All I knew back then were three things. How to read schematics, basic of electronics and how to solder. And really, that is all you need to start building circuits. Electronics is everywhere. Back in the day, we used to have portable CFL emergency lights. I wondered how such a small battery could power an AC bulb. I am sure all of us have broken a toy just to see how it works and perhaps even tried to rebuild it. Was it the motor, the lights, the circuit board or everything together that intrigued you? At this time, Building a complex electronic device might seem daunting, but constructing a circuit to blink an LED is definitely within reach. Later in this video, we will be building it. In this series, starting from the basics, we might eventually dive into designing integrated circuits and explore the VLSI industry. But first, let's learn the basics. Who is an electronics hobbyist? An electronics hobbyist is someone who engages in creation, assembly or modification of electronic devices often as a leisure activity rather than professionally. They do this due to deep curiosity about how electronic components can be manipulated to form functioning devices. This pursuit often leads to a deeper understanding of electronics and in many cases, a professional career in engineering. In the recent years, there has been a decline in the number of electronics hobbyists, mainly due to the increasing complexity of technology. As technology advances, integrated circuits and surface mount components have become smaller and more complex, making circuit building and repair tougher. Prototyping using SMD components requires additional skills and is expensive. At the same time, the availability of cheap ready-made electronic devices and modules have discouraged many enthusiasts from building circuits. Despite these challenges, dedicated hobbyists continue to explore and innovate. Building projects solely based on microcontroller boards like Arduino, ESP and Raspberry Pi with sensors and modules is not really electronics. Someone who connects sensors and modules to an Arduino and writes some program is not an electronics hobbyist. This approach transforms solving an electronic problem into solving a coding problem. Microcontrollers and their modules like relay module, motor drivers and sensors simplify many aspects of what used to be complex electronic tasks. You can plug in a shield, write some code and you have got yourself a smart device or a robot. However, this convenience often skips over the fundamentals of electronics. An electronics hobbyist should understand how a module and circuit works and should be able to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. They should be able to create electronics rather than just being a user. Let's start with a basic circuit based on triple five timer IC to blink an LED. All we need is a breadboard, a battery with a connector, the triple five IC, a capacitor, an LED, a few resistor and a few jumper wires. 
at this moment you don't need to understand everything i am only demonstrating so that all of you know that it's not that difficult in the upcoming videos we will go in depth into the 555 ic and see how it works and how it uses flip flops comparators and what not we will be going through the breadboard and all the basic electronic components in the next video so subscribe to stay notified breadboard is used to prototype electronic circuits like this one here is the schematic of the circuit we will be building there are lots of online calculators available for calculating the component values and all the parameters like this one i'll be starting by placing the ic in the center then i'll be connecting the jumper wires i'll be placing the capacitor next power supply connector before i do anything else let me place the resistors let me now connect the power supply to see whether it works or not i accidentally connected this resistor wrong let me correct it yep and as you can see we have our first circuit electronics hobbies thrive on creating and understanding from the ground up this includes designing circuit selecting component reading data sheet and making pcbs This knowledge is crucial for making a prototype. In the next video, we will be going through the basic electronic components and tools required to start building circuits. In this series, we will understand how different circuits work, build circuits, design PCBs, and even learn to fabricate our own. Subscribe to this channel and stay curious. This is Harshit Kumar signing off.